Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my studio. This is Paint with Lovejoy. Thanks so much for joining me. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to the channel and check out the other videos. And if you're here for a second, third, or fourth time, thank you so much for coming back and getting creative. Alright guys, this is going to be another fun painting and an Andy Warhol tribute, one of his mini butterflies. So grab your supplies, transfer your traceable to your surface, and as always, make sure you take your progress photos. Now if you don't want to use the traceable, you can pause the video and draw what you see on screen. And then we're going to start with the background. And again, I'm following one of uh, Warhol's um, uh, iconic little butterfly paintings, but he had many, many variations. So you are more than welcome to change colors to fit your favorite colors or to fit the decor of your home. Or if you're making this as a friend, a uh, gift for a friend, maybe use their favorite colors. But we are using that large flat brush, filling in the background, going from the edges of the traceable lines to the edges of the canvas. And if you happen to be painting on a stretched canvas, I do recommend that you carry this color around the edges of the canvas. That way it looks really nice when you hang it on the wall, having that color wrap around the edge. You're also more than welcome if you want to do a couple of colors in your background. If you want to do some blues and yellows or blues and teals or reds and oranges. Um, again, anything that you want to do to make this unique and make this your own painting. I am using student grade paint in this video and pretty much most of my videos because that's what a lot of my students use. And for student grade paint, I generally recommend that you apply your paint a little bit thicker. And if you need to, you can do two or three coats to get a more opaque coverage. So adjust for what you need to with the supplies that you are utilizing. Once you're done with the background, pause the video, take your progress photo. And we're actually going to move into light blue. I am doing the first section with blue and realized that it was not much of a contrast with the black background. So I'm going to add some white to the palette and make a light blue to make some of this kind of um, line marks in the background. So here we go, making that light blue. And at this point, I am using the small pointy brush. And we're just making these long dash marks, almost kind of scratch marks, going in all different directions around the butterfly. And if you happen to be painting on that stretched canvas and you painted your edges around the corner, carry some of these lines around the edges of your canvas as well. Again, just to give that nice illusion um, of your painting when you hang it on the wall. So again, we're just kind of making these uh, light blue lines. Again, you can change colors if you want, do something different. If you prefer putting hearts or circles in the background, again, make it what you want. This, guy, this video is literally just a simple guideline, but you have full permission to deviate from the video and make this painting your own. That's one of the best things about art. So once you've got your background kind of um, almost the graffiti lines on there, pause the video. We're going to move down to a smaller uh, brush and we're going to put some of the black paint on the inside of the butterfly wings. And like I said earlier, I am referencing a Warhol butterfly series and you can Google that to see all the various colors that he used or um, use that for inspiration for different things that you want to change up. So we're going to be putting this in all four of the wings and they're going to be, you know, fill up a good amount of the space. And then we'll be putting some shades of yellow and orange and red and even some light blue on top of this. Now I do tell all my students, I want you to trust your instincts. And if you're inclined to do something that I do not do in the video, trust your instincts and go ahead and do that. One of the nice things about acrylic paint is if you paint something and then maybe you decide that you don't like it so much, just let that paint dry and then you can paint something else on top of it. Uh, acrylic paint has a nice wiggle room and it's a really good medium to use for my first time and beginner painters. And as you go through this video and any of my videos, you are strengthening your power of observation. You're looking to see where I place certain colors and mimicking that on your canvas. So pause that video, take your progress photo again, and we're going to make a light orange for our next color. And on this video, I am using my primary colors, yellow, blue, and white, or uh, yellow, blue, and red. 
uh, with white and black in there. So to make your orange, start with your yellow, add a little bit of red to get to orange. But if you actually have orange paint, go ahead and you can use that directly. So we're filling in those spaces. Again, full permission to deviate and do your own thing. Have fun. If you want to finger paint, that's very satisfying. Go right ahead and do that. Just grab some extra napkins and don't touch the walls of your house. <laughs> but basically, again, I just want you to have fun. Now you can notice that my paint is a bit transparent. So same if yours happens to be transparent, you can let this layer dry and you can reapply the orange a second time or try applying this orange paint a little bit thicker. All right, and if you are one of my beginner painters, remember to breathe. A lot of times we don't realize that we're holding our breath because we're so nervous and we wanna do a really good job. Um, but holding your breath is not gonna to be to your benefit. So you can see that I actually took a little bit of red, added it to that orange mixture, and I got to a pretty reddish orange color and filled in the body of the butterfly and then putting some marks in the wings. Again, referencing um, the Warhol butterfly photo that I'm looking at, but you can reference this video, you can reference one of his original ones, um, or just go off on your own direction. So going back to that light orange, and again, just using that middle flat brush and the full width of the brush to make these dash marks and dots um, on the wings. And if this color happens to be a little bit lighter or darker than the first time you made the mixture, totally okay. And on this one, I do recommend that you apply it kind of thick and um, use the width of that middle flat brush. Now we're making that light blue. And same thing, kind of using the width of that brush, making dots and dash marks. And I actually like this one because I really like the fact that blue and orange are complementing colors. So this gives an extra kind of pop um, along with that really dark background. So if you do this multiple times, play with different colors and just notice how your eye looks at each color and each color combo may be a little bit different. Um, and that's one of the fun things about art is learning what colors you like, what goes together, and just kind of what you find satisfying and um, what you enjoy painting with. All right, pause that video, take your progress photo. We're gonna move into that direct yellow for a bit more of a bold pop. And again, same application with the dots and the dash marks, but I want you to take note with this lighter color of the yellow, I'm literally grabbing fresh paint after each brush stroke because I do want this to be a little bit thicker and a little more opaque compared to making four or five brush strokes um, and then grabbing new paint. So after you make each dot, grab a fresh batch of that yellow and then apply it to the canvas. And the more that you paint, the more comfortable you're gonna get with the process. So I do recommend that you try a bunch of different painting styles to figure out what works for you. Now going back to that light blue for the eyes on the butterfly, and then switching over to that small pointy brush and the white paint, we're gonna do some kind of uh, light outlines for the body, and these do not have to be perfect. I do want you to play with the pressure of your brush. Light pressure is gonna create a smaller line, more pressure is gonna create a wider line. And if you have varying widths of lines um, as you're doing the outline and the little um, details on the insides of the wing, don't stress out about it because a lot of Warhol's style was very graphic, very messy, very bold, um, and kind of left an impact. So again, this does not have to look exactly like the video. Um, going in your own direction is going to be more beneficial to your process and your evolution of painting with these videos and myself as a teacher and other teachers, just kind of giving you guidelines um, and a general kind of window to kind of play in and get comfortable with the painting process. And same with the white, as I was doing with the yellow, after some of each of those brush strokes, grab fresh white. So that way you are applying it a little bit thicker and you're keeping a bit more of that opaqueness so that way it has a good contrast next to the background. If you are finding that your brush is shaky as you're going to apply this, that does mean you're holding your breath. So exhale as you touch the brush to the canvas, and that will be a benefit to you as you go through the process. 
I'm really proud of you guys for taking time out of your day to paint and get creative with me. This was a fun, quick video. So please keep painting, keep finding your creative outlets. And until next time, cheers. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the process of painting and I hope you are happy with how your paintings turned out. I'm really proud of you for getting creative. As you're uploading these to social media, please tag me at or hashtag paintwithlovejoy or email me your pictures paintwithlovejoy at gmail.com. I really enjoy seeing them. Um, I try to post them on social media to encourage other beginner painters um, to try the process of painting. But please share this with your community as well. Anybody who is kind of scared to paint, share your experience with them and let them know kind of how much you benefited from it and how much you enjoyed the process. So kind of share, share the fun. Um, with that being said, if you have any comments, questions, feedback, things that you want me to paint in the future, please leave a comment. I try to respond to everybody as quickly as I can. And any of the future suggestions for paintings, I add that to my production list and get to them as quickly as I can. So in the meantime, please keep getting creative. Uh, let me know how you're doing. And until next time, cheers.